is the biggest, single most difficult problem that governments need to deal with. Okay, among all the different things they do, the hardest thing for them to do is solve problems. Have a problem and come up with a creative, unique solution for it. So here we go. There are 90,000 unique official governments in the United States. 90,000. And they're all doing their own individual thing. But chances are, if one government is doing something, there's another government out there that's already done that, tried it, and found an effective solution. So here's what GovMatch does. We use analogical reasoning to compare governments and compare problems so that we can use solutions that have already been tested and apply them to governments in need. Right? So from school busing, unemployment, healthcare, bandwidth distribution, there's a huge plethora of problems that governments face. And we plan to use collaborative techniques to solve each of these problems. So here's how we do it. We match governments. We take their data, their demographical data, their socioeconomic distribution, their government structure, and we match them with problems in similar governments, right? So if a uh, government is working on renewable energy, we match them up. So we have an analogy process going on here. So this is how it works. When you input your government and its structure, and then the problem you're dealing with, you get these results. And it ranks them in order of the one that's the most successful and the one that's been tried. So let's say Provo, Utah, where I'm from, um, we struggled with internet bandwidth a couple years ago because we were in major debt. But if, Gov, if GovMatch had been available, we would have been able to search real quickly. Okay, Austin, Texas, they've done that. They tried Google Fiber. And guess what? We did the same thing, but it took a much longer process to get there. So here's what GovMatch solves, right? We have a huge reliance on time exhaustive hearings and research processes that take months and even years to address issues that governments are dealing with. Um, we have the influence of lobbyists and private interests constantly convoluting the purity of the problems and the approaches that we could take. And we also take risky attempts all the time. How confident can you be that your solution really is going to work? Well, with GovMatch, we can solve that. We have increased efficiency, increased knowledgeability about how we approach our problems. We have a recognition of the most innovative cities that are doing the most cutting-edge stuff. And we can recognize them on the site. Um, we address a wider range of, um, of topics, so not just the stuff that the media touches on, but a wider range of the stuff that we don't even get to see in the newspapers. Um, we transfer between our federal levels, so something that works at the state or local level can be transferred to the, to the national levels. So we have a vertical and horizontal um, transferability here. The other thing is that it's streamlined, it's simple, it's easy to use, and we can even use the data for predictive analysis. So how cool is that? If you take two cities, one of them's done something new, the other one can follow and we can predict their actions. So let's check it out. We have the demo. I'm gonna give it over to Christopher Fry for that. Okay, we've got haze up there uh, on the uh, electronics. Okay, so this is now uh, a page on the public web. Um, you first enter in your city name, and then you enter in your problem. There's a bunch of text, that first big text box there. Then you click on uh, Get Solutions, and we see there's two solutions that have matched. Uh, two different cities that have similar problems to the problem that we're looking for. Click on Boston there, and we get the, the explicit problem that Boston had and their particular solution. Click on NYC, you can see what their solution is. Uh, under the covers, we have a, a text matching algorithm that compares the problems, uh, scores them, and shows just the top two or three best uh, solutions for your problem. Thanks.